Welcome back to the Forts, 435 now. We've got meteorologist Haley Vaughn with us. She's visited schools all across northern Michigan. Today she was in Everett oh, Elementary yes. uh, <laughs> teaching some lessons. I did. Yeah. And you have so much fun with these. How was this class? It was so much fun. They are first graders, which makes it even more fun. You like the littles. I do. I love right? the littles. They yeah. are always so sweet. And today it was really great. When I was leaving, they all ran up and they gave me a hug. And I loved it. That made my day. That made my day. But we also read Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and we discussed more about the weather. And today, they actually showed me their Everett Wildcat Roar. So take a look. <laughs> <laughs> and they are saying hi. So sweet. They were oh. definitely very kind to me today, and we asked so many questions. They were so curious about how the green screen works. I tried my best to, of course, to describe exactly how the technology uses that, but they definitely had a great time talking more about the weather, and I had a great time visiting them. And yeah. I think you made their day just as much as they made yours with so. the hug. I hope so, definitely. I yeah, it's so. always fun to get out in the yeah. community. And, and, you know, we do, do tours here, too, so do. if you do have some kids right. doing things, you can bring them in here. But right. if you want Haley to come to you, there you go. Right. Go ahead and email weather at 9 and 10 news com, or you can directly email me at Haley Vaughn at 9 and 10 news com as well. And we can either schedule something for me to come to you or for you to come to us. Yeah. And definitely figure it out. Break awesome. it all down for you. I love you. it. Yeah. <laughs> but speaking of effort, <laughs> I have our weather station up 51 degrees currently right now. We saw a low of 40 and today was a nice day, but we do have some rain and snow moving in. On top of that, winds are starting to ramp up anywhere between 15 to 25 miles per hour currently with our strongest wind gusts down towards our central lower counties. Taking a look at our satellite and radar, we can show that mix of rain and snow starting to move in towards the tip of the mitt in the lower peninsula where the snow is primarily staying across the upper peninsula currently. We can see as we head throughout the overnight hours, the majority of our snow and rain will dwindle. However, we are going to still see that lasting throughout the evening, setting us up for a very nice Wednesday. 6 a.m. starting to see mostly sunny skies across the eastern upper peninsula and around the tip of the mitt. The lower peninsula will be holding on to a few more clouds, but clearing up as we head into the afternoon hours. Perfect if you ask me for a recess tomorrow, but it will be a little bit on the cooler side. I plan on needing that jacket. Now, as we head into around Wednesday, around 8.30 p.m., the clouds start to push back in, associated with the system that we have our eye on for overnight Wednesday all the way through Friday. It's going to be pushing in initially a round of snow behind it, freezing rain and rain. Because of that, those winter storm watches are in effect, but these do not go in place until Wednesday late during the overnight hours and lasting until Friday at 2 a.m., we are talking still about more ice accumulation, snow accumulation, and a good amount of rain that will be falling. You can always stay updated with us by visiting 9 and 10 newscom slash weather or by downloading our free Doppler 9 and 10 weather app. We also have this very cool new feature on top of our Doppler 9 and 10 weather app that there's always an hour by hour video for you. So the exact feature that I just showed you, you can have on your phone, which is great to know what is going to be happening ahead. We also answer any and all of your questions on Facebook and Twitter, so feel free to follow us there. Coming up on 9 and 10 News at 5 and 6, we're going to talk more about the nice day that we have in store for tomorrow. We are tracking that storm system right now, and the exact path is at this point uncertain. However, we do have a good idea of the fact that it's going to come in first the snow and then some more rain and freezing rain. But we're going to be giving you exact snow accumulation totals coming up on 9 and 10 News at 5 and 6.